Welcome to Highland Park Senior High School's 2018 Commencement Ceremonies. I am Charlotte Landreau, the Senior Class Advisor. I'd like to introduce our honored platform guests, school board members Zuki Ellis and Janelle Foster of the St. Paul School Board, Omayefe Agbamu, Assistant Superintendent for St. Paul Schools, Highland Park Senior High Principal Winston Tucker and Assistant and Assistant Principal Deb McCain and one of our English teachers, Tim Hayes. Welcome also to our honored science and technical education teachers who are seated next to the graduates or standing. Thank you to the families, friends, and other staff members in attendance. These students are here because of your belief, support, and work with them over the years. And of course, welcome to the class of 2018. Tonight's ceremony is about one of those rare crossroads of life. Rarely do we gather in such a broad configuration to recognize a single rite of passage. We do so in celebration of you, the graduates. You have brought much life to Highland Park over these past few years. You are a powerful class. 78% of you have taken IB diploma courses or exams. You've been competing at conference, state, national, and even the international level in athletics, history, and science competitions. You are an active class, playing many sports, carrying out multiple activities and service projects, traveling internationally, dancing, maybe canoeing. You are also a talented and generous class. The roster of performances and shows put on by these students' organizations, the Union Latina, the Asian Cultural Club, the Student Council, the Thespian Society, our band, orchestra, and choir, National Honor Society, Ben Stock, and more was pretty thrilling this year. I hope that you take this talent and energy into the world as full participants and do us all proud. A word about how we do commencement. This is actually my 24th and last commencement at Highland. It seems pretty exciting. We gather to honor you, the graduates, for your hard work over the past four years. The robes and the academic hoods worn by the faculty represent our roles as both teachers and learners. In the language of robes, the academic hood represents the college and the degree earned by the wearer. You will notice many of your teachers are wearing BA, masters, and doctorate hoods as symbols of their commitment to continual learning. In addition, this year, our students in St. Paul schools were welcome to wear an identity adornment, sharing their culture proudly at this time. We will recognize each of you and hand you a diploma. Please allow each other their moment in the sun and hold your cheers and applause until every student has received theirs. We are gathered to escort you formally from one place in life to the next. Take our wishes to heart and enjoy the journey. Now we will hear our national anthem played by the Highland Senior Band.
Thank you. Now please welcome Dr. Efe Agbamu, Assistant Superintendent for the St. Paul Public Schools. It's just a beautiful evening. And look at all of you. You look just gorgeous and smart, beautiful and handsome. It's always a pleasure to stand here and just affirm how proud I am of all of you. You know, particularly, I sat in the crowd yesterday also as my daughter graduated high school. She's of the class of 2018. So anyway, it's so good to have you here. You're beautiful, you're gorgeous, you're handsome. Dr. Talker, directors of the board, distinguished colleagues, families, community members, and of course, the Highland Park class of 2018. It is a pleasure and an honor to be part of your K-12 journey coming to an end. Just 12 years ago, some of you were kindergartners, and today, your future is filled with so much opportunities. Please, permit, please indulge me as I share some data about this class. It's about 280 of you, 98 of you with GPAs of 3.0 or higher, 61 of you with GPA 4.0 or higher, 90... Pe Yes, say that, do that again, clap for them. Ninety yeah. percent of this class, ninety percent, are going on to further education in two or four year colleges. Do that, that's good. It's something to be proud of, right? Yeah. And some of you might join the United States military. Some may take time off to work. Some may even choose to travel around the world, exploring new experiences. All of these are fantastic options. And I wish you all the best of luck in whatever path you choose to take for now. I want to encourage you in the words of a very wise man who said, that real courage is holding on to a voice in your head that tells you to keep going. That voice says, nothing is a failure. And I'm going to repeat that, nothing is a failure. Get out of bed in the morning. Keep going. You must not quit. You must never give up because the star is the limit for you. And I will end with the words of Senator Corey. Booker, who said in the Yale class, who said this to the Yale class of 2013, may your paths be easy and filled with grace no matter what. Congratulations, class of 2018. We will now hear from Janelle Foster, Clerk of the St. Paul Public Schools Board of Education. Good evening, Principal Tucker, honored guest. Class of 2018, your families, your teachers, and all those in this room that are here to acknowledge their love for your success this evening. As a member of the Board of Education of St. Paul Public Schools, I am honored to represent this community as we recognize our outstanding graduates in this commencement cer ceremony. I look out at you and I go back in time, 1991, and I sat in the back because my 18-month-old was on my hip, and I was scared, didn't know that I'd ever make it to this point, and I did as you have, and as some of you have not knowing what the next journey in your life is, I ask you to look to the person next to you, your peers, who you've developed relationships over the last years in the school, to the crowd in the stands of your families, your teachers sitting out back still here to this day standing in support, this community that has wanted nothing for you to do but be successful. 
And so as we close the door tonight, success stories in each and every one of your rights, we look towards tomorrow, to the future, and we don't know what it holds. But we do know, sitting before us in this room, are 280 leaders, 280 success stories, 280 individuals with futures that are as bright as these lights shining up in here. The world is open for you, and some of you will stay home, and others will go far and wide. But what I say to you is remember that success is what you make it. Success is what you deem it to be for you. Do not judge your success by anyone else's merit but your own. My words for you are to be bold as you enter this next journey in your life. To be your truest self. And when the roadblocks hit, because they will, we're not going to sugarcoat this, they're going to hit. Come home. We're here for you. So as you guys wrap up this day, I'm supposed to leave you with some super quote. But you guys have done it all this year. You guys have phenomenally rocked it. You have shown that you know what the past has brought you to the present to do and it is to do better and be better as you move forward and go out in this journey. So I ask you all, go forward, go boldly, go proudly, and do what it is that you need and want to do and have fun while you're doing it. Congratulations, class of 2018. Highland Rocks! We will now hear from the Highland Park Senior High Choir.
Thank you, choir. This year's Senior Class Council has spent some time reflecting on the shared experience of all you Highland graduates. <clears throat> and their speech is both a shared reflection and also a charge as you go out into the world. Please welcome the Highland Park Senior High Cl Senior Class Council of 2018, Asiya Atik. Deidre Bishop, Danasia Hall, Sarah, Sarah Lind McMillan, Nicholas Murphy, Joseph Tamale, and Marcos Valdez Rodriguez. As they take their places on the podium, I just have to say, this is an amazing group of young men and women, and they have surprised and delighted me all year long. Justice. More specifically, social justice. From 2014 to 2018, the senior class has experienced many life-changing events that have shaped who we've become. From the disruption of the presidential election to the strength of our walkouts to the Capitol protesting gun violence. As we've experienced events together, we continue to grow together. We learn and we continue to fight for justice for everyone, no matter their conditions. We will continue to fight for a better, more comfortable space for everyone. This is what justice is about. We have grown into leaders who can change the world. Optimism. Throughout life, we must be optimistic. We strive to be hopeful, confident, and positive. The reality of life is that it's hard, and by being cynical, you take an easy way out. But if we're optimistic, we're able to take on those challenges. As a senior class, we have experienced loss, the loss of friends and family members, and more recently, the loss of a feeling of safety. However, it is with optimism that we can come together and move forward. When you're optimistic, you have to have hope. Having hope in the future allows us to change the future. We can see the struggles and inequalities that run through our communities, and by looking at it with an optimistic mind, we will be able to solve these issues and create a better future for ourselves and the next generation. With positivity in mind, we can work to be more inclusive and see the good in every situation. So go forth and take on your world with optimism. Unknown. We are taught that it is best to know all the answers. Knowing is something that we rely on in our lives moving forward from knowing what college we want to attend to what we want to be in life. The unknown can be frightening, and it has the power to hold us back from doing things that can be so beneficial in many ways, such as asking for help, speaking up in class, or joining a new sport. As we venture out into the real world, we will have times where we won't always know the answers. Living in our comfort zones won't stop that, and so we must see the wonder and opportunity and change. Remember that no one has lived your life before. Every opportunity is worth taking. Explore, adventure, meet new people, and learn more about yourself along the way. When change happens, look for the wonder in it. Recognize the new doors that have opened. Experience the joy in the unknown. Reframe your uncertainty. Not knowing means we are free, and the possibilities are endless. Responsibility is a key factor on the way to success. It can play many roles throughout your high school years and even further in life. Whether it's choosing to go to a musket game or devoting time to study for that IB exam, you'll know whether or not the decision you make is the right one because you yourself know what's right. As Mayor Melvin Carter told us, it is your responsibility to make sure St. Paul, a city that reflects us all, bars. Okay? Throughout our high school experience, we've learned how to balance sports, academics, and school activities. These are the things that have helped us grow as better people and better students.
nothing. As we triumphed through many ups and downs, we learned that nothing can stop us. When we hit our lowest point, that doesn't mean we stop. More to the contrary, it means keep going. There is nothing in this world that can stop us. Well, only if you count the many essays, speeches, and presentations we had to do over the years. Nothing is permanent. We learn from our mistakes and strive from our failures. But the hardest part is taking all that guilt and frustration to help push you forward onto bigger things. Nothing will ever be the same. From all the things we've done, first day of high school, working on personal projects and internal assessments, fighting through the ACT, and even attending Vi Fair on a 90 degree day. <laughs> we stood our ground, experienced many things together, and now here we are. As you go forth in search of things both near and far, know that there is nothing more rare, unique, and strong in this world than yourself. Evolve. All of us graduates here today are not the same person we once were when we started high school. Do you remember doing that freshman study guide until 8 p.m. thinking that it could not get any harder than this? Or being a frightened yellow shirt wearing ninth grader who didn't know anyone in your classes? Change is a constant in our lives, but it is also important that we accept these changes, not be fearful of them. We have all grown so much in so many different ways, but the beauty that encompasses this evolution is that we've made it all here together as a cohesive whole. We have been through so much these past four years, and no matter the extraneous circumstances we each faced in our day-to-day -day lives, we are here today to celebrate not only ourselves, but to celebrate the next step from adolescence to adulthood. You. The final letter stands for you, because life is not anyone else's journey. Life is your journey. Whatever you do in life, make sure that it's always something that you want to do. And whoever you become, make sure that it is someone that you can be proud of. Since the decisions that we make from now on have larger impacts on our future than they did before, it is more important now than ever to remember that this life is yours and the decisions you make should impact your life in a way you want them to. So, as we take the next step in this journey, remember, to take advantage of every opportunity, seize every moment, enjoy every second of it, so that when you look back on your life, you can say, every day of my life, I was doing something that I loved. Our valedictory speech this year is being given by Ben Earl Mosley and Liam Morrissey, chosen by their peers in the academic top 10. Please welcome them to the podium now. When I met Liam, he was separate or the other. He was Liam and I was Ben. In fact, I did not really know Liam freshman year. He was just the kid on the ski trip who moved into our room for about five hours, said he had a cold, and disappeared for the rest of the weekend. By sophomore year, Liam and my relationship had developed to a point where I knew he traveled to Spain over the summer and had concussed himself seven times playing football. Overall, a big growth for our relationship. As the year progressed, I got to know Liam better and by the end of the cross country season, I knew him as a person, not the other. This brings me to my first point. Just as Liam and I were able to develop a relationship and drop the title of the other, we collectively need to look at people in our lives, whether it's our close friends or simply a passerby, and see the humanity in them. If we reject the concept of the other and build bridges in our lives, we can wholly embrace a more inclusive and accepting world. Our friendship was able to develop out of a dearth of commonality, and as our relationship progressed, we were able to realize the potential of our differing skill sets as well as our commonalities. As we, the class of 2018, 
embark on a quest to develop a better future, we must fully embrace the differences of others, not putting off the prospect of unseen commonalities and the potential for the discovery of shared attributes. For we are more similar than we are different. It is too dangerous to fear the unknown what is such, when it is such a consistent actor in our lives. Friendships, familial bonds, love and caring support all govern our outlooks on life. As humans, we are innately social creatures and we find comfort in others who want to share the experience we craft for ourselves. I know that in my life, many of the milestones I have reached to feel personally fulfilled could only be accessed through my web of support, the people who I trusted with my dreams, goals, and aspirations. This year especially, I was able to see the impact of this web. The college admission cycle was difficult for me, and I'm sure for many of you as well. There were mounting pressures from school, from home, and also internally that I struggled with. Finding the time and will to apply to colleges just added into the stress I was feeling. This made going to class a challenge. I felt like I could be using my time more productively by just staying home and doing my work. However, what I began to realize was that school was not only a place where I did schoolwork, but also an oasis where I had time to decompress and talk with my friends about the various difficulties that we faced during the week. It is this quality of school that has been most important to me. The emotional connections that I have developed with others is significantly more powerful and meaningful than the normal function of school, and that is because through them I have learned about myself. I was able to open up and express how I felt and then realize what was really important to me. It has been this act of recentering that has helped me to feel happy and content with the choices that I make because I am certain of where my head lies when I make my decisions. This is the power of the web that surrounds you, the people that are connected to your life. They can support you and help you find the right path. A pertinent example of this would be me attempting to skip out on a Nordic ski practice because I was feeling particularly lazy and just wanted to go home, which was admittedly a fairly normal occurrence. My friends can always tell when my sloth-like attitude is affecting me and drag me to practice. I was happy to discover that the exercise I got made me feel much better, and though I initially resisted their efforts, I was thankful for them. The people in our web have the ability to turn us into the best versions of ourselves. During my time at Highland, I've had the pleasure of building valuable relationships with my peers and teachers alike. Last spring break, I had the privilege of traveling to China with my Chinese class, where I experienced a profound example of how the often unnoticeable ways in which our relationships impact us. During this trip, we had the opportunity to bike around the ancient Xi'an city wall. As we leisurely pedaled, the pace began to quicken and soon morphed into a high-speed competition. Partway through our journey, the bike, bu bike broke beyond repair and my partner Awad was not able to help propel our tandem bike leading to a tired, toasty, and belated arrival. At, upon our return, we were met by an incredibly concerned Mia Lao Shi. While she was concerned, Mia Lao Shi also knew we would return. She had trusted us. Our relationship with Mia Lao Shi allowed for her to see that we would not perish on that wall in Xi'an. And in that moment, she pushed me and Awad to be more responsible. While teachers push us in different ways, the relationships we have developed with them and others in our web of connections have shaped us to become better individuals. Relationships are some of the most powerful, influential, and meaningful aspects of our lives. While this ceremony marks a transition in our lives, it does not signal an end to the connections we have developed during our time in high school. As we venture into the world, we must not forget the bonds we have forged during our high school years, but also see that there's an opportunity to develop new relationships that complement what we already have. Just as the relationships we have created during high school have profoundly impacted us as individuals, our futures hold untold opportunities for us. Throughout our lives, we will, will undergo many transitions similar and different to the one we go through today. It is important to rem remember in times of change such as these that we look at the past, present, and future and see how openness, trust, and love in our relationships will guide us to become our better selves. While we may learn and grow from the wisdom provided by our web, we also can share our own experience and support with others. As we look to our friends and family for the support we need in life, 
it is also important to be actively available when others need our help. My younger brother will soon be going through the same process as I did, and I hope to provide him with all of the wisdom I wish I had when I was his age. The little things, like what's the funniest Vine compilation to watch when you need a good laugh, to the bigger picture questions, like how to foster meaningful relationships and the trivialness of GPA in comparison to the rest of his life. Without a web to keep you grounded, it's easy to get caught up in your own success and forget what's really valuable. Definitions of success end up being dangerous, holding you back from realizing your true passions. In my mind, realizing your passions is what makes you truly successful. Being part of a web of support is equally fulfilling to accomplishing your own goals, because you're enabling your companions to realize their own success. This strengthens the web with trust, gratefulness, and respect. Just being present for others is another way to support them. One of my best friends became an Eagle Scout this year, and a convoy of his friends, myself included, showed up to the ceremony to let him know how proud we were of him. I could tell just by his smile how much it meant that we came. It really was a lesson in friendship and affirmation. Acknowledgement of one's achievements and what they hold dearly can go a long ways. It affirms that you recognize someone's hard work and you honor it. As we go out into the world, we will continue to forge new relationships with the people in our lives and build a stronger, more expansive web. Our minds will be expanded and so will our hearts as we enter the diverse communities surrounding us. I bring forth the challenge to you all to give back the support you have received and be a pillar of kindness and affirmation for those who need it in the years ahead. You will find that in doing so, others will come to you not only in their times of need, but also in their times of bounty and share their successes with you. Don't be afraid to give back, because what will be remembered is what you give to the world, not what you take from it.
Thank you to the Highland Symphonic Band. We have the tradition at Highland Park Senior High that students elect a faculty member to give the commencement address. Once again this year, Timothy Hayes was chosen, so we will hear from him now. Before I start, I, I just have to say, I don't think I've ever seen so many of you in one place and no phone. Good job. Yes. Yep. If I had a phone, I'd take a picture. Uh, okay, so in September, I told you that the moment would arrive sooner than you realize and sooner than you expect, and now here we are. For the past 12 years, you have been given well-meaning advice as to what you should do by caring people in your lives. And this advice will probably continue. But after tonight, the advice will be different. Not because what is said will change, but because you have. This is the official start of your adult life. The advice will continue. But whether you want to follow it or not is now up to you. What you do next is a choice, not a requirement. So while the advice may not change, how you choose to hear it and what you choose to do with it will. As an adult myself, I don't feel that I have the moral authority to dispense well-meaning generalizations about what you should do with your life. All I can do is share my personal experience as a single, simple example of how my life has gone. I vaguely recall my own high school graduation, but I vividly recall what I did next. Within a month of the celebration, I was standing on the shoulder of Interstate 90 in southern Minnesota with my thumb out pointing west. I went west as far as Seattle and then north to Alaska. In my 18-year-old mind, I had planned a six-month excursion, which I somehow extended by nine years. I could speak for an hour about those years, the adventure story, the love story, and the near tragic end. But for tonight, I will skip to the end. The hardest part to talk about, but the most important to share. I awoke one morning in a roadside ditch. I did not know where I was, I did not remember how I had gotten there. I had no money, and I had nowhere to live. I was in physical and emotional pain. My mental anguish was overwhelming. The next time you see someone who appears to be lost or struggling or homeless, I want you to think about me before you pass your judgment. I truly hope that you never experience the profound despair that I felt that day. But if you do, know that there is a way forward. All I knew at that moment was that the person I had become was someone I no longer wanted to be. I did not know what I wanted. I only knew that I could no longer be who I had become. And so I started moving. Towards what? I did not know. Only that I had to move away from who I had become. Ten years later, I am a businessman. I wear a suit to work. I have an office. I have a company car. And if I want, I have the company. But again, though the circumstances were much different, I knew that who I was, I no longer wanted to be. And so again, I started moving. Towards what? 
I did not entirely know, only away from what I had become. Many of you tonight have clear ideas, concrete goals to move you forward. Others, I know, are not as sure. I admire those with goals, and they are important. I, too, have set and achieved goals. But in critical moments of my life, I was driven not by what I knew I wanted, but by only knowing what I no longer wanted to be. Some of the greatest gains in my life have come when I didn't know exactly what I wanted, but I did know exactly what I didn't. It is the movement, whether towards something clear and tangible or away from something equally clear, it is the movement that matters. Whether you are pulled forward or pushed from behind, it is the movement that is the key. I tell students that you cannot write a paper if you don't start writing. Staring at a blank page will only leave it blank. It is the act, the movement of the writing that fills the page. You don't need to know the ending to begin, and you will never reach it if you don't start. The author, E.L. Doctorow, said that writing a novel is like driving at night with your headlights on. You can only see so far. For me, that is life. Even though you can only see as far as the light penetrates, you don't stop. You keep moving, knowing that your destination is somewhere ahead, still in the dark. If you know what you want, go for it. And if you don't know, go from where you are. Each way will bring you to where you want to be. Know that you will have moments of joy and moments of desperation, and in between, the stuff of everyday life. The moments of joy, you savor. The in-between, you learn to live with. The desperation will be your test. And like me, those many years ago when I couldn't see what was next, you must reach out and move forward. Your future is before you, waiting for the light. Congratulations, 2018. Thank you, Mr. Hayes. That was an amazing, amazing speech. Greetings, Assistant Superintendent Dr. Effie Obamu, board members Zuki Ellis and Janelle Foster, Highland staff, parents, family members, honored guests, and of course, the graduating class of 2018. This is a joyous evening for all of us. We are so fortunate to be able to share in this special celebration of your educational accomplishments. We are truly honored. Class of 2018, your high school graduation is a critical milestone in your life. You've heard that from a number of the speakers tonight. It's an important event that launches you into the next phase of your life and your bright, bright future that awaits. We are excited for you, the accomplishments and the amazing things that you will accomplish. We encourage you to build upon what you have learned in school, expand your knowledge and wisdom as you take the next steps in life. Build upon the solid educational foundation that has been set. Further your education and make the world a better place. Our society desperately needs young, talented, motivated, caring, and engaged citizens. I encourage you to be thankful for all that you have and all that's yet to come. Enjoy this time in your life and set your sights on the stars, for you will certainly go far. Okay, now the proclamation. Board members, Ellison Foster, it is my extreme pleasure to present to you the graduating class of 2018. As as principal of Highland Park Senior High School, I affirm to you that each student who receives his or her diploma tonight has met 
or exceeded the requirements for a high school diploma as determined by the State of Minnesota. The Board of Education for the St. Paul Public Schools and Highland Park Senior High School. I proudly present the St. Paul Public Schools Highland Park Senior High School Class of 2018. Dearly beloved, oh wait, 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 wrong speech, wrong speech. Happy birthday, Prince, first and foremost. Kim, come on. Happy birthday, Prince. Okay, I am the closer. I am the person that's getting you up here, so no more time to waste. The Board of Education, by the power vested in me by the State of Minnesota and by the Board of Education of Independent School District 625, I hereby confer upon each of you the high school diploma with all of its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Hawa Abba Jabel. <laughs> Liam Morrissey. Grace Arts. <laughs> Benjamin Earl Mosley. <laughs> Idil Ahmed. <laughs> Nassim Lewis. Sara Ahmed. Serene Lewis. Sydney Aaron's Church. Raquel Loera. Babatunde Akindele. Kayla Jade Logan. Nicholas Aman. Taylor Loomer. Madeline Amsden. Larissa Lopez Barrientos. Isabella Anderson. Min Dang Lu. Alice Andrastic. Riley Lumpkin. Annalise Archambo. Alexis Mack. David Arginal. Michaela Malone. Joshua Ani. Blessy Mandy. Johannes Awaki. Emily Martin. April Bannister. Yvette Martinez Granados. Chloe Barron. Grace Mathis. Felix Bazan Romero. Jose Mateo. Miguel Bazan Vasquez. Gabriel Maddock. Madeline Becker. Michaela McGough. Mohandas Beaky. Emma McGrew. Hattie Bell. Nick McKenna. 
Matthew Bell. Lauren Mendoza. Nicole Benson. Matthew McPherson. Roland Berg. Wyatt Miller. Miriam Bayane. Beza Matekiu. Margaret Blomgren. Eliodoro Miramontes. Mason Plummer Lamont. Jordan Mitchell. Nisea Bosby Johnson. Saeed Mohammed. Thank you. Caleb Bowren. Etsiri Montez. Jack Branby. Alexis Montoya Gutierrez. Matthew Brooks. Nisha Moore. Mohammed Boo. Linda Moore. Pettigrew Bumpy. Keenan Morrissey. Megan Burke. Tao Moore. Jameson Bush. Ryan Mulcahy. Celeste, Sierra Celeste Marie Burton. William Mulvaney. Callie Jordan Carlson. Abdulaziz Munye. Kenji Callahan. Zuleika Munye. Nina Carell. Abigail Murray Stark. Zoe Challenger. Ong Mio. Mai Chang. Titus Natala. Pachi Chang. Gabriel Jerome Nelson. Luke Chen. Isabel Norby. Aaron Cheerhart. Sylvina Nord. Lillian Cohen. Daniel O'Meara. Anthony Coakley. Benjamin O'Meara. Jenna Rose Cook. Aiden O'Neill. Michaela Cook. Ariana Owens. Nazir Cox. Bearcat Olson. Molly Alice Crandall. Peter Packer. Noel Crivero. Sophia Parker. Jackson Cross. Maisie Pinapuatilo. Tymesha Cunningham. Jalen Elaine Penro. Men Dang. Nicole Perez. Alexandra Davis. Jennifer Perez Roque. Claire Davis. Zachary Perko. Nate Dekeba. Nina Fawn. Jack Dombrock. Solkin Pinedo. Cise Dada. David Pliego. Antonio, Antonio Dominguez. Elea Permiliatis. Foro Igero. Maxwell Quinlan. Ellie Egbert. Larry Renfro. Edwin Elias. David Ramirez. David Ramirez. Roma Ambo. Madeline Reese. Benjamin Evans. Abdias Rodriguez Sanchez. 
Alfredo Espinoza. Kaylin Rogers. Helen Fang. Ricardo Rivera. Alexander Fadden. Maria Roldan. Mason James Joseph Ferguson. Alexander Rosas. Declan Flynn. Arisela Rueda. Lee Frolish. Abiyu Rose. Rashina Tane Foster. Elliot Ryan. Lane Fry. Elijah Sage Martinson. Ian Gallagher. Lauren Sanchez. Archer Gallivan. Ariel Sanchez Aragon. Malette Gabretskiber. Veronica Sanis. Tremonte Garner. Tashaya Scott. Wilson Gillespie. Sally Seeger. Bryson Gross. Gregory, Gregory Celine. Sydney Gross. Adam Hengasu Shakisa. Elena Geron. Edward Shaw. Yurele yeah. Gutierrez. Geraldine Shepard. Kahele Goldschmitz. Catherine Slattery. Kira Gleason. Monique Smazel. Abdiaziz Gutu. Stuart Simons. Maiza Habib. Catherine Spores. Nathaniel Hagos. Evelyn Tapia. Johannes Hagos. Hanna. Noah Hansen Best. William Tamlin. Nicholas Halligan Mesa. Madeline Teipel. Fatima Ahmed. Chia Tao. Joanna Harding. Jedi Tao. Charles Harris. Nangnu Tao. Anwar Hassouni. Jessica Trin. Jeremy Hawkins Bjornsson. Lydia Trico. Thomas Hayden. Jocelyn Turner. Riley Henderson. Mariah Turner. Carlos Hernandez. Caden Tushouse. Jason Hernandez. Nicholas Ulmer. Alan Rodolfo Hernandez Riatiga. Subby Vang. Madison Himmer. Callista Vang. Paul Idstrom. Paku Vang. Jack Imholt. Peng Vang. Max Iverson. Brendan Vellinga. Devante Jackman. Enrique Vasquez. Raju Jackson. Catherine Vento. William, William James. 
Shoyi Wu. Luis Jimenez. Charles Wheel. Richard John. William Wengler. Nicole Johnson. Damiandre Willis. Justin Kaczmarzynski. Cole Wilsey. Holly Campa. Jillian Wartman. Huh? Megan Kavanaugh. Christopher Waxland. Brendan Kazukavich. Jasmine Whirl. Rachel Kudersky. Kong Zhang. Zelalem Kaleta. Long Zhang. Ashley Kreuss. Matthew Zhang. Maya Chorsad. Nuchi Zhang. Owen Crum. Huchi Yang. Lazaro Lagunes. Kalia Yang. Axel Lane. Yi Lang Yang. Jonas Larkin. Saudi Yang. Pretty Larson. Omar Yasin. William Lazarich Castillo. Noah Yi Yik. Kathleen Leach. Grace Zemer. Kyle Lee. Peng Lee. Lul Lemma. Alex Lewerke. Nicholas Murphy. Joseph Tamale. Sarah Lynn McMillan. Marcos Valdez Rodriguez. Denasia Hall. Asiya Atik. Deidre Bishop. Congratulations.